The title of this passage is Solicitor Steals from Clients and it is read at 90 words per minute. Ready? Members of the jury, the case you are about to hear is a sad one, but it is one which I believe will make you very angry. It involves a major breach of trust and I am sorry to say that the person who stands in the dock is a member of the legal profession. Jane Williams has been a solicitor now for 10 years and has worked for the same firm in Oxdown for the past five years. She was well thought of by her colleagues in the firm and her work was sound and competent. What her colleagues did not know was that Jane Williams was living way beyond her means and was getting deeply into debt. When she had spent up to the limit on five credit cards and two store cards and could find no one else to give her credit, she started to steal money from the firm's clients. It was easy enough for her to do. She was a professional and she was trusted by both her bosses and her clients. No one had any reason to suspect her. Over a period of just 18 months, she stole more than £25,000. There'll now be an interval of 30 seconds. Ready? What is even worse is that she did not use the money to clear some of her debts. She frittered it away on holidays, clothes and eating out. The theft came to light when a client who had deposited a large sum of money with the firm needed his cash urgently and it was not in the account. The firm looked into the matter at once and discovered the extent of Jane Williams's fraud. When one of the partners confronted her and asked why she had taken the cash she kept on changing her story first of all she said she needed the money for medical treatment then she claimed she had owed a lot of cash to people who were threatening her and so it went on she came up with half a dozen tales, each one less likely than the last. Even the police could not get a straight answer out of her. And it will be interesting to see what she comes up with in her defence.
it is always a grave matter when someone takes what does not belong to them. When a person is someone in a position of trust, it is even more deplorable. And that is the end of dictation at 90 words a minute.